This is the Peninsula region located in San Mateo, California. I love the security of being here and the feeling of retirement. I don't have to worry about when my dinner comes up that I have to shop for it and cook for it and then clean up. I'm retired. I can sit and read a newspaper, which my husband used to do before I, we came here. He would, re, he would sit and read a newspaper and I was back in the kitchen. And here you can sit back and enjoy yourself. We did something unique. We came from a condominium in Honolulu and the buyer of our place wanted all of our furniture. What that did for us, we had to buy every single stick that's in here for all the rooms, two bedrooms, two baths, and Libby just loved that. First we had to buy a toaster, <laughs> and then an iron, and then something to eat on. Yeah, it was fun to start furnishing again at our age. My husband was a physician, and he practiced in New Jersey in Somerville, New Jersey. And it came time for him to retire. And we thought of where the best place would be, and that place was here in California because my daughter lived here. And we gave up a large home with office space. In those years, the doctors always had their offices in their homes. And so it was quite a transition. The uh, lot that we were on was an acre. And so we had to get rid of his library and all the furnishings, and we just kept enough so that we would have enough to f furnish a two-bedroom, two-bath. Closed the door, sold the house, and off we went. My husband shed a few tears because it was a whole life that he was leaving. shortly after we got here. I went down into the art room downstairs and painted a picture. around the croquet court about 20 times, mm -hmm. most every day, and I used to do that. I walk in the hall. I've uh, fallen a few times, <laughs> so I walk in the building, so if anybody, if I fall, I'm have to be found right away in the hall. Old people fall. Every, <laughs> it's over and over and over, you hear so-and-so fell, yeah. so-and-so. Sometimes the damage is severe, and sometimes it's nothing. He had three years here, and he passed away in 93. But um, he was 83 at the time. He never thought he would live that long, but he did. He was a great guy, and we had, in retrospect, a wonderful marriage. At this age, we're mostly women. Men do not live this long, unfortunately. But there was one gentleman who also lost his wife, and so we became companions. And we were together for about seven, eight years before he passed away. So at, there was a long time that, that uh, from my husband's time to the companionship of another person living here, I didn't feel any loss of anything, any, any companionship. And now I'm just busy with the women in the area. Mm -hmm. And you know, fine, you don't, you're happy to, you're happy to be able to do what you can do, if you're well. During my years growing, I had never looked ahead thinking that I would be doing this sort of thing. 
and I had a mistaken thought when I did think about it. I thought I was going to live in a rural area and look out on a lot of greenery and not many houses and so on. And as we looked for a place to stay, I found that's the last thing you want to do because you, what's good about this is your walking distance of so many of the things you do, that is banks, dentists, doctors, Library, uh, store, grocery yeah. store, so, moving so it's, house. It's better to be in, in that type of location for a retiree. I'm 90 years old. We have a lot of people in that age group here. We have a number who are over 100. And they're capable of taking care of themselves and they're aware of what's going on. Age is, is a it's not frightening anymore as far as being 80 or 90. We're, some of them are kids. Now what else do you want to know? <laughs>